Hi. Hi there. I'm Jeannie. I'm Sarah. And together we're a little girl, Jeannie Sarah. A lot of our um, customers want to know more about pattern mixing. So today that's what we're going to do. So we're going to spend just a few minutes talking about some pattern mixing and a few ways to mix up the LuLaRoe styles, maybe with some things that you have in your closet already. And uh, we're going to start with uh, what my sister has on, because it's a good mix. Got this really adorable Anna, and it's a geometric print, and she already had a Sarah in her closet because she wears them for work like every day for the air conditioning, right? Absolutely. Um, and staple because Jeannie's petite, she ties her Sarah in the front to just kind of give it a little bit of a a little bit of a lift, so it's not quite as long because that's her her personal style preference. Plus, it just kind of gives it like something. Yeah. When you're when you're pattern mixing, you want to basically take two patterns, one that is a smaller scale print with a larger scale print, or a you know two different styles of print. They can't be too similar, and they should always, almost always, share at least one color, or like have a complementary or an opposite color. So that's a great thing. That's blue and white, striped and geometric. And so that's going to be just a really simple thing. She loves to wear Amelia for work. So we're going to do another another um, outfit, and I'm going to give this one to Jeannie and have her go try it on so you guys can see what it looks like in person and then I'm just going to go ahead and talk about another set of pattern mixes. So here we have a Cassie skirt that has like an ivory and black Santa Fe or geometric print and it's kind of in a medium to large scale and this is one of Jeannie's other favorite Sarah's and this is a another black and cream piece so it's going to be another tone on tone so you have a different um, pattern that's a small a stripe with like another pattern in it so when you combine the two side by side they go really well together because they're of different scale and they share similar colors and what I'm gonna style Jeannie in it is a um, black tank top to go with it that she wears for work I'm back she's back so she can come forward so you can see it up close so this is Amelia and this one has a scrolled print so I, I consider that kind of print kind of like a floral. Somewhat, yeah. I mean, it's similar to floral. And then her Sarah is striped. And so again, you have a big scale print and you have a small scale print, a stripe. And together they combine really well. The dress has that black and gray outline and cream. And then the Sarah has the cream and gray. So together, they kind of make sense. Perfect sense. Perfect sense. Um, and so I will have Jeannie change into the outfit we talked about just prior so that you can see the tone on tone. So this is one of Jeannie's Azures and it has a beautiful like print. I call this like it looks like an adult coloring book and I love it. I think this is really pretty these rosettes. One of I guess like my favorite thing in the whole world I actually really love stripes. So everything is of course stripes but that's also because if I'm telling you how to pattern mix in your basic the basic thing to do is to look at what stripes you have and what prints. And then if you also, like if you love classic tees and you can't find a solid to match your skirt, then think about what stripes your consultant has in order to mix those. So I have this really cute, we just got back from convention, and I got her this really cute LuLaRoe promo tee, and it says Inspire on it, and it's black and gray, and it has the white. And then when you look at Jeannie's Azure, we have black and we have white and the prints are two different scales so when you look at them together it just makes sense it's a great mix so let's see what Jeannie looks like on so we're gonna do this is tone on tone and this is of course this is another way you can style your Cassie skirt so because Jeannie often wears her LuLaRoe for work that's one of the ways we primarily see her styled whereas I'm I'm a mom and I work LuLaRoe full-time I don't necessarily need to get like dress professional. So then Jeannie's gonna go ahead and put on the Azure and the graphic tee together for us so that we can look at that. And we'll talk about one more mix. Jeannie's not sure she likes this, but I think it's, you know, kind of professional and classic. So she has this really pretty white blouse with black polka dots in her closet. And while I was at convention, I picked up this really cute Cassie skirt and this is from the LuLaRoe Shine Project and I thought it would be great for Jeannie for work and also just because it's amazing and I really like the colors because I feel like you can transition them from spring to fall and back and forth 
And Jeannie says, oh, I love it, but I don't have anything to wear with it. You'll have to get me something. But I just went into her closet and I think automatically, with I feel like any print, you can combine a salad tie a salad neutral with. And so if this print, this is like pink, like a mauve with burgundy and green. And to me, like, yeah, you can definitely put go out and seek seek out like one of those colors, but you can definitely wear a white blouse with any Cassie skirt or outfit. So her closet, she has this really great black and white polka dot and at a distance I mean it looks like a white blouse and I think that together these are going to be a really good mix and then they have a surprise piece at the end. So let's have Jeannie come in. So Jeannie is wearing her azure skirt and the LuLaRoe inspired tee and I think like for a casual fun beachy look like or just like an everyday look you don't have to make your life complicated. You don't have to like wear a million different pieces. Um, the classic tee you can also take, and this is one of our favorite things because Jeannie and I both like to have a nice neat waistline. We don't really like to leave things untucked most times because, I don't know, I feel like it just gives, gives a little something extra to your look. But if you just take and put a knot in, I think it does a lot for, a lot for your um, style. So Jeannie's going to come closer because you can see. So you can just knot your classic tee. You know, for example, I'm going to have Jeannie take this last outfit here and, and change. And, um, you know, for me, I actually really like to tuck in. Um, my problem area is here in my stomach, but I just feel really sloppy. If I go ahead and leave my shirt untucked, I feel like it's just not as, I mean, it kind of feels ho-hum to me. It doesn't feel like I'm put together. So when I go ahead and I take and I tuck my shirt in, and I really kind of like having my skirts fit a little bit looser, especially over my, my mommy bump, you know, three children and some C-sections, you get some lumps and bumps. So anyways, I tuck in and I feel a little bit more styled and, and just a little bit more put together, but I still always feel like if I'm in two pieces and it's not like 90 degrees out, I really like my third piece because then I don't have to worry about this isn't out and exposed as much and then I also don't have to if you know me my least favorite thing in the whole world and one of the things I look for for all my customers is we always look great facing forward when you have a nice fitting shirt but then on the back like the lumps and bumps and back fat girls back fat is my enemy so Anyways, my two pieces, and then I just go ahead and I put on my magical third piece. Because I feel like, just like a vest, or I don't have a joy that matches this outfit, but a joy, or if it was a little bit cooler out, a denim vest, or a, a denim jacket, a full jean jacket, or even a Lindsay to match would be great. Oh my gosh, my sister is so pretty. She looks like she's not completely comfortable. No, I actually really love it. I love it. Um, so again, she said she didn't have anything to match the skirt. And she doesn't, she's not a tucker in her. She's more of a like tire and she likes to have things that hit that hit a little bit short and like not cropped, but like above the hip line. Sure. So Cassie with a shirt tucked in. And I think that's really cute. Yeah, I do. I um, agree. I agree, I agree. And one of the things you can do just to add, because she has black and white. So she has a piece, two prints, and she has a piece there that's a different color. So you have two pieces with two different colors. What you can kind of do to bring it all together is add a solid and unify it with a solid. So Jeannie has this really cute shorter black vest. I think that that kind of unifies the outfit. So if you have two prints and you're not quite sure, having your third piece be a solid, just like with my my outfit for today really kind of brings it together a little bit. I think it will. I think so. So polka dots are also a classic. Um, another thing that I, I haven't tried yet because we're still looking for the right pieces is everyone's always telling me that cheetah is a neutral. Cheetah. Animal well, prints. It's a little bit wild and prints. uncomfortable for us, but I think we're both, we've both been in agreement that we're going to work on finding some animal prints and using them as neutrals. So that's, that's coming up. But I hope this helps you ladies. Let us know. Thank you. See you soon.